We are back behind American River College, downstream of the illegal camp that was evicted, uh, where we pulled out over 2,000 pounds of trash. And this is further downstream in the main channel of Arcade Creek, just below the confluence of the tributary where the illegal camp was located. And unfortunately, we did not get it all on Friday, which is why we're back here. There's gonna be a well flush tomorrow that's gonna to bring more water down the channel, and we're trying to grab all this stuff before it gets flushed downstream. And, but this is just a huge ecological disaster here. Just this one person has done this over the last few months. There's just stuff as far as you can see. Under the water, too. Not everything floats. So if we go down under the water, we're gonna find textiles, bags, so we've got our work cut out for us, fortunately. It's a large tire. Good job. Yep. Get out of here. Buried sleeping bag. We have to dig it out of it. The filler inside the sleeping bag is synthetic crap. It never breaks down. It's caught in the fish's digestive system and other animals. This is all one sleeping bag. All of these, the batting, and all that. There's still more in there, I think. Wow. You want to see it? Good job. Is that more of the suitcase? Another half. Good job. Get out of here. Get Thank you. Here. There she blows. Let's see. Let's see. Sheet. So heavy. Yeah. So good job. Camp was up here discharging textiles, trash, single use plastics, knack bags into the creek channel for several months, if not longer. And we took 2,000 pounds out of here on Friday. Came back today because there's going to be a well flush coming down the main channel tomorrow. And we want to make sure to get all this stuff. And look, look at this. This is not old stuff. Like Cheetos, expi expiration 2024. So cleared out that out. We got down here, this into the water section. There's a hole here. We started pulling out stuff down here. What was caught on the upstream side of the log? I mean, this is just unbelievable. And again, none of this is old. Look at the bottle caps. This is batting from a sleeping bag. Nasty synthetic fibers. Never breaks down, never goes away. And then just, come on, bags, backpacks, buckets. And then we got over the log and started pulling out stuff over here. And we got foam padding from some type of bedding and blankets and a sheet and more batting, more plastic downstream. And if you look downstream, it just keeps going. What kind of a path of destruction did this one camp create? And then we think about the hundreds of camps downstream along Norwood, Norwood Avenue, along Arcade Creek, and along Steelhead Creek by West El Camino. Hundreds of camps down there. It's just not acceptable. We just cannot let people camp in our waterways without a permit and design proper designated campground. These are not designated campgrounds. No one comes out here and cleans up other than volunteers. And we can't keep up. 
with it. One camper does this. How can we keep up? Make any progress when we're cleaning. We were here in December and this was spotless. None of this was here in December. We were finished here because we bagged everything up and then we decided to see what was under the sand. Guess what? how fast the scud berry and all of this stuff and our bottle caps have grown look at that sounds like tent poles or yep pull it out see what it there's a tent pole yep Seventy feet of debris and fifty feet of channel, and we just took two thousand sixty pounds of trash out of the same spot on Friday. 